Hi, this is Anna, and this is Check It at the Round Table, where we discuss movies, books, music, and stuff. Today we are discussing a new Thai BL drama series that is actually airing right now. It is called Tanhan Chanlati. This one, I am putting a huge caveat there that this is one of the ones like Why Are You? That although I do watch it, I probably won't watch it again, and I wouldn't watch it with kids. I mean, no offense. Now, if you had a 15-year-old, okay, you make your own decision there. But I'm like, with kids, I probably wouldn't watch this one, just because it does have more crude humor, innuendo in it than Anna prefers. In fact, there's parts of it when I'm like, I just skip because I know it's going south, and I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. However... I just decided to give this one a try simply because it happens to have a couple in it from the Together series, which although I have not seen Together, which I'm hoping to see here in the coming year or Still Together or um, You're My Boy or I, there might even be one more offshoot. I honestly don't know. I really did like the clips of this couple and I thought, you know, I'm going to watch the show merely because they're in it, not really because of the main characters. However, as I did start this show, I have to say the pilot episode, the first part of it, absolutely sucks brick. I mean, I could go into a huge lengthy digression, as most people who listen to this podcast know, on why pilots don't tend to be the best examples. It's like, I'll have friends who, you know, check with me about a movie or an episode and they'll go, you know, I stopped watching after whatever. I'm going, you know, don't judge it by its pilot. Continue watching after it because I never make a decision on a movie or, I'm sorry, on a TV show by its pilot. Simply because they're always bad, unless it's Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, and then you got something to go on there. But the rest of them that I've seen have always unequivocally sucked brick. So anyway, this episode, season one, episode one of Tan Han Chanlati, is about a young guy named Chanlati who is getting ready. He's just finished high school. He had a friend named Tan Han who lived next door to him. They grew up together as neighbor boys. Tan Han is, I'm guessing, about three years older than Chanlati. He left about five years before Chan Lati graduated, and Chan Lati means the ocean or the sea, apparently, in Thai. And Chan Lati was devastated with when Han Han left, and he went to go study in Bangkok because that way he could get a better education. Chan Han never returned home after that, and Chan Lati felt terrible. He cared about him a great deal and more than a friend, although Tan Han did not know that at the time. And so he's always been planning on hopefully going to Bangkok and somehow ending up at the same college so that he could study and possibly meet Tan Han again. And they could see about maybe having a relationship now that they're both, you know, 18 and 21, respectively. Um, Tan Han, uh, Chan Lati's mom has always known that Tan Han likes um, I'm sorry, Chan Lati likes Tan Han, but, you know, she's like very nonchalant about it. She's like, well, you've always liked him. You don't seem to like anyone else. Okay, you know, there you go. Um, the thing I like most about this show is the mom, and also Chan Lati has a young friend who's a girl who is very funny too, and they kind of are absolutely awesome in very unique ways, but at the, the movie basically, or the series starts out with Chan Lati kind of having this weird BL series that he's watching that, quite frankly, it is very full of innuendos and is what makes BL look bad, in my opinion. I mean, again, this is just Honor talking. It's a period, um, it's a spoof off a period BL movie. I'm thinking like something a little bit like The Untamed, although I haven't seen The Untamed, so I'm not a big, um, great proficient on figuring out what they're trying to spoof off of here. Needless to say, it's full of innuendo, and I almost turned off the entire series because of the first five minutes. And I'm like, Anna, you always say, never judge a series by its pilot, no matter how bad that pilot may start out. And, you know, I'm really glad that I didn't judge this series by the pilot, and I kept watching till the end of episode one, and it did get better. And this episode involves Chan Lati, who decides to go over and clean Tan Han's house a little bit. And he ends up meeting Tan Han, who has come 
back after five years to kind of take a bit of time there. And Tan Han ends up actually coming over to Chan Lati's house to crash for the night and wearing Chan Lati's terribly hilarious um, pajamas with giraffes on them, which I don't know why, but that just really struck my funny bone because you have this guy wearing these pink giraffe pajamas that are way too tight. And it's, it's rather funny because it's like, why didn't he bring his own pajamas? I don't know. I'm just saying. But anyway, then the next day, um, Tan Han asks Chan Lati's mom if he can take care of Chan Lati, who is getting ready to go to college in Bangkok, by having him come and live at his house with him and two other guys who room in the same house and kind of take care of Chan Lati because Chan Lati is younger. Chan Lati is a little more naive and a little more trusting of people. And so he's got that. And he's like, you know, why don't you just let me have Chan Lati kind of come and stay with me as he figures out how to live in Bangkok since he's never really been there before too much and gets acclimated into college life. And Tan Han also lets Chan Lati know that he and his girlfriend broke up. And that's kind of why he decided to come back to his old home, simply because he was having trouble dealing with that. And so that's kind of where that episode ends. Although when he does get back home, he ends up meeting the two friends who are roommates. And you find out that it's the couple from the Together series who happen to be taking shower together. And um, Tan Han just decides to knock on the door and try to open the door. And it's like, you know, why don't you just leave people alone when they're in the bathroom? I don't know. I don't know. It seems like a good idea to me. So anyway, that's how Chan Lati meets his other two roommates. So that is the end of episode one of Tan Han Chan Lati. I did enjoy a lot of this episode, except for the very beginning, which again was just, yeah, not my thing at all. So anyway, but I love the mom in the show. And as it develops, she even becomes more awesome than she is to start with. And I love the friend of Chan Lati, who is the girl. She is absolutely hilarious and awesome as well. And that is my review of episode one of Tan Han Chan Lati. I will drop a link in the description to the playlist for this series so you can watch it if you like. Again, I'm not endorsing the inappropriate humor at the beginning of the show or the slapstick, etc. That's just not my thing. But I'm still mentioning it because, again, I think the mom in this really deserves a shout out because she is super cool, as well as the friend. And that is my review of Tan Han Chalmati episode one. Check it at the round table. Bye!